Hello everyone, good morning. Um, today we are discussing about the rare coins of the Philippines and uh, speaking of rare coins, this has a uh, hundred years uh, or uh, two hundred years or more of our uh, previous coins inside the Philippines that has been uh, circulating and uh, sorry for our international uh, friends out there I have to speak our native language so that uh, the local will understand okay and uh, thank you for watching and uh, please don't forget to subscribe and uh, first the the coin that we are discussing is about the gold coins of the Philippines the the rare uh, uh, 4 pesos uh, Alfonso the 12 and uh, this is a standard standard circulating coin during uh, 1880 to uh, until 1985 and the volume or the mintage is unknown since it is uh, minted in uh, Spain, I think, or in uh, Peru or in Mexico. Uh, most of the Spanish coins minted in uh, Mexico, Peru, in, specifically in Lima and in Spain, in Jubia and uh, some other provinces of Spain back then on 1800s. And... Uh, the uh, 4 peso gold coin uh, the Alfonso the 12 is uh, 6.7 grams in weight and uh, a 875 8.875 gold in purity for the composition and it is from 1857 until 1967 but uh, these coins were uh, vanish uh, on the early 50s and 60s and uh, during the war on 1940 41 to 43 the Americans took all the coins the currency of the Philippines they put it on the ship and some of them uh, they they throw it on the Manila Bay and as of now until now it's, uh, there's still a lot of coins down there uh, I think uh, maybe around uh, 2 million coins because they have to throw it instead of giving it to the Japanese so that's the story and uh, that is why the current coins uh, circulating inside the Philippines or the buy and sell out there uh, not all of them are original most are uh, clone and copies I remember back then in the 1980s the the Ch uh, Chinese made a lot of uh, clone coins and uh, next we have the 4 pesos uh, Isabel gold coin and uh, this is from uh, year 1861 to 1868 and these are uh, ultra rare the ultra rare are the year 1867 and also the rare are the 1868 and uh, there's a lot of uh, years uh, circulating uh, also in eBay a year 1862 1864 1865 but uh, the 1867 and the 1868 are the ultra rare so if you can find one maybe it's a lot of fortune and if it is graded uh, maybe it will cost uh, a lot of money just like fifty thousand dollars something like that because the common uh, circulated uh, gold uh, isabel uh, Four pesos cost uh, five hundred dollars, 
520 just like that and uh, this is one of the favorite uh, coins among the elite coin collectors inside Philippines and some American uh, coin collectors also and uh, there's a lot of this on the American uh, collectors because uh, as I've said before they they took the currency coins of the Philippines to United States to avoid the Japanese uh, using the coins or uh, taking the coins uh, going back to Japan and uh, on the side note the Philippine currency the banknotes the Americans uh, decided to take a copy of the serial number all of them they, they put it on a note and uh, they burn all it all it but not uh, all of them because some from the provinces are still existing and uh, you know they don't uh, still have the radio back then or television on the 1940s on the provinces on the remote countries or the remote countryside so that's it and next we have the two pesos uh, Isabel the second gold coin also and they minted uh, not so many of these also because uh, uh, the 1868 they only minted the uh, 48,000 copies of this as we all know gold coins are very expensive also the process and the labor the fee of the laborer who make those uh, gold coins and it was uh, from 1861 to 1868 and it is a 3.3 gram and uh, not big yeah, it's uh, in size it is 18 millimeter and uh, next we have this uh, uh, one peso Isabel II also from 1833 to 1868 but uh, some uh, of these coins uh, already exist in uh, the uh, Spain in other uh, uh, nation countries that uh, under uh, Spain so they they travel the coin in uh, from Spain going outside Spain to Mexico to Peru to Chile and also to the Philippines because if you can see the illustration or the field or the words on the field it says uh, uh, Reina de las España so Queen of, the, of uh, Spain and uh, so uh, they minted it on uh, uh, Spain also, also or in uh, Mexico and on the bottom it says uh, Filipinas uh, for the Spanish word of the Philippines the Philippines was named after uh, King Philip of the Spain I don't know which uh, King Philip and uh, it's a 1.6 gram gold coin and uh, next uh, this is a, a very a rare coin and uh, it is a uh, 8 escudos uh, Isabel the second countermark because uh, they they first made this in uh, Colombia especially in, in Bogota and uh, they need uh, a lot of gold coins going to the Philippines to pay their, uh, uh, their churches to build churches like that and to pay the, the laborers the, and the sacadas for the to buy horses to buy sugar cane to uh, sugar cane from Philippines is during that time is everywhere you can find it everywhere because uh, sugar cane 
plantation in the Philippines uh, is everywhere from Western Visaya, Central of the Philippines, uh, up, up north of the Northern and the Central Zone. So they need a lot of gold coins to build their churches and their houses of their uh, of their leaders and uh, they only minted this from 1828 and uh, 1831 1832 and 1835 and all of these are uh, rare coins and uh, i don't know how much uh, it will cost because this is uh, 80 scudos but I I found a video in the Pawn Stars I think and uh, there's someone who his grandfather uh, as an uh, army back then uh, who is a, I think uh, a officer and uh, he has a lot of this so he gave this to his uh, son and uh, to his grandson so he he pawned it to the pawn stars and i don't know it's a lot of money and uh, next is a eight escudos a counter stamp uh, on mexico and uh, the counter stamp is on the reverse, yes, on the reverse, and uh, it's a, a handbook on book, handbook eight, on the middle you can find it, and uh, I found this a very beautiful coin, and they also made the uh, silver coins out of this because uh, the gold was uh, scarce uh, already, and they only minted it on 1825. I don't know where they minted this but they countermark it and it says uh, La Libertad in La Ley and this is a very rare I, this is not rare on uh, a numismatic word because uh, in Mexico and uh, in the United States there's a lot of this if you are uh, not lazy enough, you can find it here on YouTube and on the internet and from the forums, on the numismatic forums. There's a lot of this because you know if the government know that you are hoarding a lot of gold, gold, gold or gold coins, they will also seize that. They will take it from you. And last, this is the the very rare. Uh, I cannot compare, uh, compare this to a coin, but it is, I think this is a, a cup, but, I, but it's not because uh, it is gold and this is a pure 999.999 but only weighs 2.7 grams. Uh, so, as of today, if it is a gold, then it will cost a, if you will melt it, 2.7 grams. Uh, around uh, 1000 I don't know uh, 100 dollars if you melt it but uh, in this condition this is a very very rare condition and uh, uh, it was minted uh, not sure the year uh, 900 to 1199 they said and there's a lot of this inside the Philippines back then on the ancient times and there's, there's a inscription or lettering the ancient uh, lettering I think this is a Baybayan or Baybayan text and the translation is Ma on the uh, verse and on the reverse it's a plane uh, with a bump and uh, yeah, since ancient times gold gold has been the main product of the island so that is why uh, the the spanish the the dutch the the british uh, came to philippines to find gold 
and maybe there it is said that uh, the Philippines is the appear uh, on the Bible and uh, maybe that is why they are interested in uh, conquering the Philippines so that's it and uh, I hope you enjoyed watching on this video and uh, thank you for viewing please don't forget to subscribe comment on this video and uh, share this on your social media and uh, thank you for watching and see you on our next videos thank you